Hey guys, I'm putting this out there for anyone who's still wondering if the Ricochet Kernel Driver Anti-Cheat is actually working. I ran into this guy coming back from the Gulag and he just instantly lasered my face off. Him and his teammate appear to be rage hacking and then posting the clips to TikTok. The first guy who killed me is a level 1, which tells me he's a brand new account. His teammate's a level 22, which tells me he's at least played a couple games prior. Now, if the Colonel level driver was doing its job, the first guy would have never gotten into the game, and the second guy would have been banned a few games back. The Ricochet Colonel driver is supposed to scan your PC and detect if any of the cheats were installed. According to Activision, the Colonel driver went live globally back on December 15th. But as you can see from the gameplay, almost three weeks later, there's still cheaters in the game. Now, I recorded this gameplay about six days prior to releasing this video. And as of today, Engine Owning, one of the world's largest cheat providers, officially changed their status with Warzone from updating to undetected. Now, that's terrible news for all of us because it means they found a way to bypass the anti-cheat and there's going to be thousands of cheaters back in the game. Now, I don't know if this is related or not, but I can honestly say today felt completely different than it has been the past few weeks since Caldera's launch. Maybe they just turned up the skill-based matchmaking, but the lobbies were super sweaty and the caliber of players I was facing was much harder than it has been. Now, it's a possibility Activision dialed up the skill-based matchmaking in anticipation of the cheaters coming back in order to try to protect their casual player base from running into these guys and then ultimately quitting the game. But regardless, the gameplay you're about to watch is from almost a week ago. So even without engine owning, people are still finding ways to cheat. Let me know down in the comments if you think they'll ever find a way to get rid of the majority of the cheaters. And then do me a favor and hit the like button so the algorithm will put this video out there. And then people can see it for themselves that the anti-cheat never actually worked. Check out the gameplay. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. And if not, kick rocks. Peace. All right, right. Later. Designating target for airstrike. Can I edit this?
I just sent two tweets to Activision and Raven. I mean, I doubt they're going to ban them live, but it would be pretty cool if they did. It's just like, so I guess Ricochet don't work, huh? I mean, the guy's a level two, which tells me he probably got banned before, but this guy's just straight up rage hacking.
I'm gonna report his TikTok channel too. I mean, obviously they found a way around Ricochet or they wouldn't even let him in the game. Like, I thought the, there was a Colonel Driver that was supposed to detect the cheats. Like, what happened to that? I don't even believe it. I think they're just still relying on reports. Maybe, like, very low-level, like, cheats they're detecting, but they're not detecting all of them. I gotta say, though, this is the first guy I ran into that was, like, straight-up rage hacker. You know what? Let me see what Jimmy Crack Corn's doing for a second. He's got 25 kills. He's got to be f***ing cheating, too. Dude, I'm digging Yo, thing, Jimmy Crackhorn, how, how do you die? die? How, how do you die, die? Jimmy Crackhorn? You're a f***ing ass. ass. You f***ing on your first war zone. Y'all are fucking ass. Try to check out your... Uh, check out your the fuck is hacking, man? Jimmy Crackhorn's a worst hacker ever, bro. Jimmy Crackhorn's a worst hacker ever, bro. How do you f***ing die? That's right, that's right. I don't know, but somebody's got an echo Somebody's got an echo mic. Trash. Hey, guys, I'm echo. Echo.